a video by black unicorn fan fictions kindly do not copy and read the disclaimer carefully as you have already started watching this video so it's my responsibility to fry your brain and make you regret clicking on it i am kim wyan 2 years ago i got married to john jungkook we had an arranged marriage i am the third an unwanted unplanned child of my parents they never took my responsibility and when i was in faint they parceled me to my grandparents house i happily lived with them for 15 years then i lost them i had to come back to live with my parents they weren't attentive towards me but i decided to study hard get a good job and give myself a beautiful life but unfortunately my parents denied to pay for my college fee as they spent majority of their savings on my siblings education and marriage well i had a scholarship so i didn't care about their excuses but i wanted their support in my masters they gave me biggest help by marrying me off well it was a very hard time for me they emotionally manipulated me for this marriage having ties with john family was their dream since forever jungkook's mom saw me in a party and she liked my calm and reserved behavior and to be honest i wanted to run away from that party because everyone was so weird whatever i said yes for the marriage as i thought my parents will start loving me and yeah they were happy with my decision and now they treats me like a treasure my brother and father got a lot of help in their business because of my husband that's what they wanted talking about my and jungkook's relationship he was also emotionally blackmailed to marry me he told me that he will pay for my masters and we can focus on starting our relationship after 2 years because he wanted to focus on his work first i happily agreed So today it's our second marriage anniversary. I got a well-paying job 2 months ago. We are still living like roommates. He's a workaholic man. Currently, we are watching TV while having breakfast. Suddenly I got a call from my mom. Kept the phone on speaker and continued eating. Good morning mom. Good morning. Happy marriage anniversary. May God bless you with beautiful children soon. I gave this blessing last year too but I guess God didn't hear me properly so I'm again repeating I want grandkids calm down my mother I am getting old I not this drama again is there everything good between you and Jungkook yeah he's very happy with me he can't stop praising his luck I must have saved few whales from drowning in my last life that I got you how funny you are clenching jaw Jungkook I was talking about kids hello I can't hear you no one can hear you network issues we'll talk to you later hello are you there okay got it thank you bye she disconnected today my childhood friend is coming from abroad she will be staying with us till tomorrow evening hmm well since everyone is here we should start okay started explaining the project please let me know if you have any problem my coffee is bitter can you add some sugar in it can you please concentrate on meeting how can i concentrate on the meeting when you are sitting right in front of me he sat on the left of taeyong this view is more beautiful he pulled out a hammer from his bag taeyong started looking at wyan continue so i was talking about blah 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 this project shouldn't be given to choice they are taeyong sneezed sorry excuse me yeah yeah excuse me i mean if you don't want to get involved in this meeting then leave you are disturbing everyone yungi hyung are you getting disturbed i am regretting hiring you all i should give you silent treatment finally i can get some peace ho be silently judging everyone so i was saying i asked for a couch Why do you always ask me to sit on the chair? Why do you keep on twerking on the chairs for better concentration? Hobi judging everyone silently. Control Y and control. Think about the paycheck. Y and continue. So according to the last month data, Taeyong sneezed again. Sugar flinched and held his chest. Finally, you start feeling something about me. You are fired, sir. You too. Excuse me. You three. J Hope. meet me in my office after lunch he left 
well he fires us every day it's not a big thing he will forget it soon does anyone have any query regarding this project i need a couch next time sugar in my coffee hobby judging everyone silently i came back to home after a hectic day apun ko bhi ye job mangta hai i found my husband sitting on the couch you are early today i told you about my childhood best friend right oh you never came home early for me you never asked me to come early i didn't even ask you to breathe still you are wasting oxygen are you mad about something i just want to fight he looked at his watch she'll be here after half an hour we have time let's go after the fight junko got a call hello yeah i'm coming yes i'm home with my friends with benefits i'll be there in a minute he left but the curtains friends with benefits john junko she went outside while walking like penguins i sat on the couch with a mad face i miss jen's life because of our fighting session yeah we live like roommates and do the things that every couple do like fighting after some time junko entered in the living room alone whom are you expecting where is your girl best friend i thought you went to pick her up i went to jimin's apartment he wanted my help in moving some furniture ding dong junko opened the door and a girl of my age entered she is wearing a pink furry coat yellow skinny jeans black hat and green sunglasses she must have forgotten the way of circus to my surprise she hugged junko oh so she is the best friend how are you leah god just like always he started laughing loudly you are still so funny have a seat leah came inside oh is she your wife gave the cheek air kisses whatever it is hey i am vian nice to meet you i am leah have a seat what would you like to have i will have a black tea no sugar no lemon are you sure banana milk for me cold coffee for me vian raised her eyebrow he rolled his eyes and went to kitchen tell me about yourself i regret saying this she started talking there is no pause button in her she is continuously talking about her likes dislikes exes future plans childhood memories shopping list injuries bucket list and jungkook is wiggling his eyebrows towards me he is enjoying seeing me getting annoyed and let me show you the clothes that i bought yesterday wait where is my clothes i left it in the taxi let me try to get it you can use why and stuff till then he clearly knows how much i hate sharing i glared at him but he winked at me let me make dinner until then you may take a bath one hour later we started eating and this trumpet is continuously talking i want to jump out of the window oh my god what happened i got a text from my aunt my mom fell down from stairs i need to go i promise i'll be coming back till tomorrow evening bye i lied jungkook we should go with her no no their house isn't far away you know my aunt helen fell down from stairs she died on spot her family member says they can still feel her presence in their home they saw her spirit near the fridge many times they should start keeping some food on stairs she should get some rest after death guys i need to leave bye hug leah see you soon take care of your mom i packed some important stuff and came outside i will stay in a hotel tonight hope jungkook will enjoy her company how can people talk so much ding dong why are you here you think you can go so easily jungkook go back you can't leave your guest alone you can't leave me alone i need some peace i told her jimin is my neighbor she said she will stay at his house i'm feeling bad for her yunji he picked her up on his shoulder you aren't going anywhere he knows about her lie i want to fight again you are getting bolder day by day they left sugar heard their nonsense can you pour acid in my eyes i can be your sunglasses it's night 